Mike Oz bringing us a 64 gigabyte recall box image running the new version of recall box with a totally custom Godzilla theme and you gotta check out this intro video because I should have popped a bag of popcorn before I checked it out and oh did I mention that there's over 18,000 titles on this image custom recall box image with over 18,000 titles. Let's go ahead and start at Atari 2600. Um, you do need to change this from French to English really quick and I did turn off the music and I'm also showing my frames um, but everything else is, is pretty stock to what you, you're going to see. Um, so as we get into this let's go ahead and uh, see what we're left with here. The image size itself when you download it is going to be compressed so it'll be at 46.3 three gigabytes and then once you extract it it's going to be 59.4 gigabytes 63 billion 864 million 570 thousand bytes I have it on a Santa's ultra 64 gigabyte you can get those not on sale regular price for twenty dollars so this is an affordable image with a ton of titles recall box does not support video snaps and it does not support the Raspberry 3B plus currently so you're gonna have to run this on the Raspberry Pi 3B the 1.2 gigahertz one for it to work now let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we have Atari 2600, 648. Atari 7800, 60. Coley, CoVision, 140. Odyssey 2, 122. Vetrix, 106. So, so far, some old, old school stuff. Game & Watch, 58. Game Boy, 583. But you'll notice when you go in here, we're going to be using file systems here. So, you got Hack Games folder. And you can play all your little hack games. But then, if you go out, you still got all the regular Game Boy games as well. Game Boy Color, we have these games here quite a few. No hacks though. Game Boy Advance, we definitely have hacks and it's 900 and something. 927. Virtual Boy, we got 25 I believe. Yes. Game Gear, 253 with some hacks. Four hacks for you. Um, moving along, PSP Minis. These are PSP Minis. 321 Super Crash being my game of choice here. No hacks here, just PSP games. 297. Atari Lynx Portable, you got 76. Neo Geo Pocket 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color 46, Wonder Swan 188, Amiga 600 177, Amiga 1200 we've got 702. And again you'll notice that this is Cat Productions really helping with those themes. They also made the uh, next level theme as well which is actually on here so let's go ahead and you know change gears here a little bit check out another little theme. You could do that all within you know, recall box is just a quick reset. It's not even a full reset, just a emulation station reset. I'm gonna be right in here. This Im this theme and as I think the next level theme actually not the next level, but the recall box next theme has even additional uh things you can change. Okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Where were we? Alright, we were over here at Okay, Amiga 600, Amiga twelve hundred. So as you see, totally different theme. Seven hundred and two on Amiga twelve hundred. When you go in, you get a little different theme here, but and there's your games. Amstrad CPC 455, Apple II 500, Atari ST 500, Commodore 64 350, Scum VM 28. Now, these Scum VMs are all in French, I believe. I played a few and they were in French. Either that or, or Portuguese, I'm not sure. I don't speak either, but it, it looked like French to me. MSX, so you might want to not play these or switch them out. MSX 5576, MSX DOS or 2, 101, Sharp 68,853, Sinclair ZX81, 1,180, ZX Spectrum 464, Cave Story again in Brazilian, Portuguese, so you might want to eliminate that one. Lutro, you got nine games here. You got Pong, guys. The freaking Pong. Okay. Doom, we got quite a few. Doom 1, Doom 2, Doom 1, Share Reversion, Final Doom, 
Platonia, Final Doom TNT Evolution, and The Ultimate Doom. Favorites, let's see what he likes. Deadpool, Pepsi Man Hacked, uh, Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Virtual Boy, Mario Land. Collections, this is cool. So rather than filling this whole menu up with a ton and ton of systems, which it already has a ton and ton of systems, that, that's how long it takes me to go all the way through at once, <laughs> is you could go into collections coming up here. And uh, once you're in, you have you know bom all your Bomberman games. You click in here, you got all your Bombermans for all the different systems. You know, all your Galaga games, you go in here, you got your Galagas. You know, uh, Mortal Kombat, so you have all your Mortal Kombat from 1, 2, 3 in tournament. Uh, Pac-Man, you have all your Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Okay, I guess these are all Pac-Man related. Interesting. Tang games. Uh, racing games. Shoot 'em ups. Sonic games. And the list goes on and on and on. Now, Libretro and Mame do share some of the same titles. So, 1448 total. And then part of that 1400 is in Mame here, 898. So if it doesn't work with the Libretro core, you might want to try the game in MAME. So for example, Alien Storm, which is a great game, um, it'll run in uh, Final Burn Alpha. It will not run in MAME. So if it, it's vice versa here. So here you can also check out the loading screen, the Godzilla uh, loading screen with a... Um, oh yeah, I need to lower the volume actually. So here we go, level one, and it's running. Where if you were to try to load this game on, oh, whoop. whoops, I didn't want to use my, <laughs> I like how fast this game is, you know, a lot of these games are slow, the characters are really slow. So there you go, working good, start select out works, hotkeys are working. All right, so Mame, uh, Neo Geo. It does have Demon Front on here as well. Highly recommended game, uh, which is under um, I forget where I saw it. Oh, it's on side scrollers, but it's on here. It's Nintendo. Oh, hold on, we skipped some. Family Computer Disk System 157. Nintendo 1028. And if you go in, you got Famicom folder with all your Famicom games, and you have hack games with all of your hack games. So pretty cool. Super Nintendo, 921. Again, you got your hacks, you got your Satella view, and uh, you have Star Fox 2 and Super Godzilla. <laughs> What's not to like? Nintendo 64, as you guys have seen in previous videos, Nintendo 64 runs really well on recall box, especially if you want to overclock. So 303, about 220 or so will run just fine on here. So that's a lot of that Nintendo 64, especially on a 64 gigabyte, that's nice to see. I do recommend going over here to advanced settings, hit start on your controller, and you can uh, overclock very easily. 1.3 without a ton of cooling, 1.35 or 1.375 if you have the proper cooling, you can run no problem on recall box with the Raspberry Pi 3. Um, Sega Master System 360, so with Nintendo 64, no hacks or, or anything like that. Sega Master System 360, Sega Mega Drive, also known as... Uh, uh, Mega Drive Japan as well, um, as well as uh, Sega Genesis, and then you got a ton of hack games as you see. Ton, 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 ton. Jelly Boy, MK23, Shaquille O'Neal, Shoots of Rage, Zombies, a lot of stuff. 32x, 35. That's pretty much all of them. It's SG1000, 72. Sega CD, you got three. Cobra Command, Sonic CD, The Terminator. Dreamcast, you just have one, Soul Calibur, which does run. PlayStation, I mean, again, a 64 gigabyte image rocking 57 PlayStation games. I'll take that. So here's your PlayStation collection, which will run fine. Overclock if you dare, and uh, get a little bit even more performance out of there. So a lot of cool games. Some old schools as well with Raiden Project and then the, the collection in the beginning. Super Graphics 99. You also have Super Graphics in here. Then you have a uh, PC Engine 287, Atari 2600 648, Atari 7860. I think we're back at the beginning, right? We started here. Cool. Wow. So, ton of ton of games. Let's do. I always play that game. Let's do a portable system really quick, so you can see what that's going to look like. I know we just passed it. Wow, wow, wow! I should have went left, huh? So let's try Game Boy Color. 
10 pin bowling. So again, you get to see the launch screen, which is Godzilla Eye. My capture card might not be getting it. And then you have your Game Boy. Okay, so this Game Boy actually has no uh, bezel as well. Where if you do Game Boy Color, it should have a, a bezel. All right, so there's your bezel. There's your Game Boy Advance. Okay, that's running good. And then lastly, let's do a console. Let's try Nintendo 64. Let's do some Diddy Kong Racing. Let's show them how it's done, Diddy. Let's get the whole shot here. And the turtle really is irking me. Get wrecked. That turtle got super wrecked. Oh, I missed that. Banana, dr banana drift. More bananas? No, missed that. All right, got to the finish line first. What it do? You oh, okay? Here's our controller. Okay, up, down, left, right, up, left, up, left, A, B, X, Y, start, select, L, 1, run, L, click in your analogs and then select, alright, let's, um, first, options, the system, language, changes to English, eventually we'll get there. Did I do it right? English. Okay, I guess I need to restart. I think it's this one. So, we've played some games. Everything's working good. Um, I'm going to have to give this image an A-. minus. I love... The, first of all, where, where, it really, where I'm really happy about it is, finally, a 64 gigabyte card just stuffed with games for the brand new recall box. So this would be my go-to 64 as far as like, do you want as much as you possibly can stuff on a 64 with as many systems and as many games as possible? Look no further. Hack games, the full collections of all the systems, except, you know, where they didn't put the full systems like Sega CD, Dreamcast, and PlayStation, which is really where you got to stop. But when it comes to everything below that, SG-1000, 32X, Genesis, SNES, Nintendo, you got not only the hacks, you got the portables, you got everything. So really doing good there. What I didn't like is that you do have to change your language. There's a little bit of setup to do. A little people are going to be discouraged about that. And then the Scum BM and the Cave Story being in another language, I think either A, giving people the option to switch the languages very easily, or B, starting with English or dual, and then they can edit it themselves. So once you get past the language thing and the Scum VM thing, it's an A image. Okay, I'm just get, I have to give it you know a slight decrease because of that and a lot of the viewers and what they, uh, what they expect. So again, this is just what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.